Athletic Director Shaney Fink, thanks so much for coming in. It's great to be here. Full disclosure, we were originally going to have Shaney and Jen Cohen from UW in together, but the Jen's with the Husky baseball team. I think that's where we're going to start because I know all the baseball and the softball team of the Huskies gotten a lot of publicity, but in terms of the sports program at Seattle U, across the board, was this your most successful year since transitioning back to Division One? Boy, it was a great year. I mean, it started off in the fall with our um, both men's and women's soccer teams in the finals of their the WAC tournament and the men advancing on to the NCAAs and then taking down the Huskies at uh, at UW Stadium. Right. Um, and then to the winter sports with both the men's and women's basketball team. It's just, it's been a fantastic year. I mean, I think the alumni base feels the momentum right now. You held your annual red tie celebration last week, set a record with more than $600,000 raised there. What's the kind of the message from the alumni base right now? Are they feeling that momentum too? Absolutely. I feel like the uh, red tie was a giant high five. Like, let's go. <laughs> We're getting things going. Um, great support there. We had over, you know, 400 people there. And just great energy supporting what we're trying to do, supporting the mission of the university. Um, so a lot of, lot of fun, excitement at Seattle U. And great to get alum uh, Elgin Baylor there as well last week. I know there are a lot of sports that have success, but because you don't have a football program, how much of that momentum is predicated on the men's basketball team and the exposure from the men's basketball team? They had their best Division I finish in 50 years with the 20-win season. How huge was that? Oh, it was awesome. I mean, it was so fun. And, and definitely you get a lot of the publicity and the energy comes from that. I think it's all, you know, athletics is contagious. Uh, yeah. and the winning is contagious. So I think it, it started, um, you know, with the fall sports and I think the women's basketball team doing so well. I think it all just bleeds together, but certainly having a Jim Hayford and his squad go as well as they did that, that got a lot of energy around the program. Yeah, it was great to see the women's team playing the NCAA tournament down in Eugene, Oregon. Unfortunately, it didn't go their way in that one, but love to see them win another WAC tournament in the future as well and make it to the NCAA tournament, just like hopefully the men will do in the future as well. You know, hiring Jim Hayford was one of your first really big moves. What kind of pressure is involved in making a decision to, to have to relieve a coach like Cameron Dollar and then make a tough decision as to who to hire? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, absolutely, I would say the, the hardest part, you know, so far of this uh, right. job. And that was a, it was a tough decision. Um, and it's the, uh, the energy and, and enthusiasm that has come from Jim and, and all the people that have attached themselves to the program has been really great. I know the Red Hawks and Huskies are in different conferences, but do you feel like there's sort of an emerging rivalry between these two schools when they play in sports? I know it's very important for the Red Hawks to uh, that that big win in the NCAA tournament uh, between the, the men's soccer teams was was huge, as you mentioned before. It's fun, um, and I think that that's you know that's a great thing about sports. It's a great thing about having our institutions so close together. Um, those are really fun wins and they're fun games and I think you know it's good for Seattle um, having good competitive teams I feel like Seattle fans deserve that right um, so we're gonna keep at it we're gonna keep coming at them and uh, I think that rivalry will keep going well let's take a look at some of the highlights of this past year at Seattle U. you mentioned a couple of them the men's soccer team always solid another WAC tournament title uh, that win over the dogs Women's basketball won the WAC tournament title, competed in the NCAA tournament. We talked about men's basketball. Softball set a division rec one record for wins. Baseball had four, 34 wins and four players drafted. Alex Roldan goes to the Sounders. How big was that in terms of exposure and visibility? Oh, it was awesome. And Alex is just a great kid and I'm really excited to have him here in town. And we get to keep watching him and supporting him. Um, it's just a great story for Seattle. So what's next for Seattle U going forward? Well, you know, we are just going to, we're celebrating and, and um, finishing up this, this year, and we're going to regroup and go again in, next year. I think our uh, fall sports are going to be really strong again. Um, both the men's and women's program are kind of perennial WAC champions, right. um, and we're excited to push off that, and we have a really exciting season coming up with our basketball programs reloading. Um, so we're excited to see. Keep it, keep it rolling. Well, we wish you nothing but continued success there going forward. I'm looking forward to this conversation in 10 years' time and seeing exactly where Seattle U is at that point. Seattle U Athletic Director Shaney Fink, thanks so much for your time. Thank Best of luck going forward. Thank you. We'll be back with more.